Hey everybody, before we start today's video, I just wanted to give a small heads up and warning. The End of Ghoul School contains severe flashing lights, so when you hear the bell, that will be your cue to look away. I'll be toning down the flashing as best I can, but I still felt best to forewarn you about the whole situation. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Ghoul School! Last time! We trekked even further into the school, got ourselves a pretty hefty number of items. We got ourselves our spinal zap, the embalming fluid, the, sp uh, the suction cup shoes, as well as made our way up to the rooftop where we tragically fell to our death once again. Today, we're going to continue on through Ghoul School. We're going to hopefully finish up our adventure here, and we're going to go save the school and the love of our life, uh, Polly Pom Pom who is trapped within the deepest bowels of the school by the one behind everything. So we're just gonna make our way back up to one of the elevators. There's actually one that's really close by, and thankfully we don't have much of a trek to go to. We just gotta go up like two floors and then that's basically it. Although we gotta do deal with one of these old jerks. So, hands down, the most annoying enemy in this entire game. Now, if I can just get up the stairs, there we go. There, chew on that. In fact, I'm gonna get the embalming fluid out just in case another one decides to show his ugly face. Get up the stairs. Embalm the hell out of this guy. And we're gonna make our way down the hallway. This one's just jumping in place so we don't have to worry about him. Uh, this one I'm actually... No, not the Spinal Zap. We want to go with the Sandwich. Just deal with him nice and fast. Toss some more sandwiches at this dude. He looked very hungry. Ow. Excuse me, sir. There, jeez. Go through here, and there is the elevator that I was talking about. So, go in the elevator. Hold down the up button. And break it once again. There is actually a bit of a secret with the elevator there. There is a secret, like... Uh, warp room in the school that you can go to. The only way to get to it, though, is by putting the... Oh, wait. There we go. Uh, is by putting uh, the needle between the 2 and 3 and then pressing the A button. Ah, close. Let's try this again. Almost. I know I can do it. It's really hard to do, but... Need to get up there. Oh, I thought we got it that time. All right, let's try it on this side. Damn it. Nope, oh, and we just fell to our death. Yeah, that's an insta kill, so you don't want to fall down there. And if we do get a game over from this, I'm just going to uh, showcase the warp room just because, honestly, this jump's the worst in the entire game, and it has been known to kill runs. I could try and damage boost my way onto the ventilation fan. The only problem is just it's so finicky to get up there. Like, I, I feel like this would be the area that they put the least amount of effort into. And let's just keep trying to spring our way up there. I'm dead. Okay, you know what? Because that's a cheating area, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go down. Nope. Keep. Nope. Need to keep it dead centered. Nope. It's very finicky to do. Get 
Come on. I know you can do it. There we go. There we go. Welcome to the warp room. So, it's basically a simple hallway. We got four staircases uh, and a pathway. Each will lead to one of a random room inside the uh, school. I believe each and every one of these leads to a specific, like, uh, area room. But the door right in the center leads right outside to where we need to go. So... Just a little showcase of that, just because it's a very annoying jump, and it's a, almost a nigh-impossible jump to make, and I just didn't want to have to get another death uh, throughout this adventure. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in here. Going to get our embalming fluid. And we're just going to embalm the giant skull from uh, the game's story. And uh, it, it, expect me to see, see me doing this, because the only way we can hurt this thing is by embalming it. We can't hurt it with the spinal zap, we can't hurt it- oh, we can actually hurt it with the sandwiches. Oh no, we can't. Oh, actually, no, we can. What about the sickle? Can we pick it with the sickle? Oh wow, the sickle actually does significantly more damage, okay. Uh, don't listen to me, don't use the embalming fluid, just stab the thing with the sickle. I want to pick its brain and see what makes it tick. But yeah, uh... That area right up there is where we were going to drop in if we had been able to get past that, and it would have just ended out of here. Also, uh, the, the skeleton from the uh, chart uh, decides to come alive and try to kill you. With him, I actually do somewhat suggest to use the embalming fluid. Because it does a lot of damage. Alright, now that he's falling to pieces, we're going to head up into this location. I just wanted to show off this, this call fight before we continued on. Let's get ourselves our suction cup shoes. Let's get our sandwiches. Feed the poor hungry eyeball monster. Hop up over here. And make our way back. Because up here is the location of the ear ducks. Now, the air ducts are a bit of a maze. There is a location that we can go to that uh, holds the last item in the game, as well as a very uh, powerful weapon. We can't go to it just yet, uh, as we make our way through the secret passage in the school. We're actually not in the air ducts just yet, but we are very close. Actually, no, don't get the sickle. I want the spring shoes. The best indicator I could say uh, for what's a dead end path and what's the, the correct path is, I believe if the path have a, has a monster in it, that is a dead end. But usually the way it goes, it nope. I, it's like down, up, up, down, up, I believe. Oh, well, don't listen to me. The monsters actually are just uh, placed throughout here. They're not actually an indicator if it is a dead end or not. Here, this time we're gonna go up. Yep, this is the correct path. Drop down here, and I believe this is the correct path. Is what I would have said. Had that been the correct path. Well, did you see that? His head like changed color for a second. That was weird. Alright. Just toss sandwiches at the hungry boy. Make our way through the air duct some more. I guess this would be more the crawl space of the school. I actually do like the... A lot of music in this game is really good. Aside from, like, the classroom theme, I would say, like, a good majority of the, the songs in this game are just, like... They got, like, a nice bop to them. Like, I can constantly, like, find myself just, like, uh, jamming along to it at times. There we go. Take care of him. And with that, now we are in the air ducts. Uh, there's mice, rats, uh, there's also monsters, and there's also a hidden weapon here. Uh, let me 
me get the embalming fluid out real quick, because I need to uh, do embalm this rat real quick. Oh, God. Okay, actually, you know what? No, oh, suction shoes. Aha, try and get me now. So, uh, where we want to go is we actually do want to go to the right. There's a hidden pathway, and actually you can see the weapon just vibrating violently up there. That is the Gamma Gun. It is a very powerful weapon. I would say... Oh, oh God. I would say it's probably the most powerful weapon in the game. It does a pretty good amount of damage to it. And it, the only downside to it is, well, it, it's just a bit of a pain to get to because this place is a bit of a maze. Uh, I'll keep the sandwiches out. Yep. Go through here. Get my bearings. And I want to go to the left. Got a terrifying uh, skeleton just peeking through the ventilations. Go through here. Then make a way over here. Just to avoid the scary skeleton peeking through here. If you go through that door, it's actually uh, just straight up death. So don't do that. Go through here and get our gamma gun. Basically, the thing fires like a rail gun, which is impressive. So, now we want to uh, go back through here. As you can see, uh, it shoots like uh, the Dewey, uh, uh, the Deweytron, but it does a very high amount of damage and has like no damage drop off to it, which is good. there, and then we're going to make our way back over here, and then die, because I went the wrong way, like a fool. Okay, well now that we have to restart this whole area, we're going to want to go to the left this time. Now that we got our trusty, I went the wrong way again. I think this was it, alright. Go through here, and I'm in the wrong area. I may be a little lost. I think we want to go to the right. I honestly thought uh, with that death, it actually was going to place us at the very start of the ventilation ducts, but nope, doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, now we're in the right area. Let's go this way. Go past that. Go past the mice. Snap the Banshee and get trapped again. Huh? I'm confused. I, I completely lost my way. I'm I, I can't stop because of the mice. Alright. Uh, let's go to the left. No, no. No, let's not go to the left. Let's go to the right. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna just shoot this thing just because it's really fun to do. Let's keep going to the right. I think I. Oh no, okay, no, there was no exit, so this is the way I wanna go. I think I'm completely lost at this point. I... Alright, yeah, just follow my death. Okay, let's try this again. Right after I get back to where I left off, because we just got our game over. So, uh, I'll see you all in a bit. Alright, so we're back at the air ducts. This time I actually have a good reference point as to where I am. I'm just gonna avoid these rats real quick. And where we want to go this time is we actually want to go to the left. I completely got turned around uh, and just got absolutely lost as to where I was supposed to go. And for the most part, I think I was actually on the right track, but just with uh, 
uh, getting all mixed up as to where the gamma gun was, as well as, like, the, all the other things that were going on. It was just really hard for me to just, like, uh, pay attention as to where I was supposed to be going. Anyways, uh, where we're gonna want to go is head off to the left. I think, actually, had I not gone through this door, we actually would have been on the right track to go into, uh, the right area to get out of the air ducts. It is completely my fault. Yep, here we are. It is completely my fault. We, we have made it to the basement. And by the sound here, uh, it would seem that the count is down here. Also, working out eyeballs. Yeah, how, how'd that lifting work for you, buddy? Alright, Dracula, I know you're down here, you big nerd. Where the hell's my money? Not down here, it seems. But down here is just basically going to be a combination of all the monsters that we have found. With like you saw the the, the very sad flower pots, got the the weightlifting eyeball creatures, got the grease monkeys down here, uh, got a snake, a very gigantic snake that actually doesn't get one shot by the gamma gun, but we can trade blows with him at least. And that's not the way I wanted to go. As you can tell, my memory of the basement is not the best. I know, like, the hallways were a good majority of the game, and if, if I can actually, you know, pay attention to what's going on, uh, well, we got aliens down here. If I can pay attention to what's going on, then I would be able to uh, navigate the uh, air ducts relatively easily. I did a pretty good job with the crawl space, but we also got a brain down here. I'm just gonna embalm the little sucker if I can get into the right position. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, it's in a spot where I can't really embalm it. Alright. In that case, when in doubt, go over it. Oh, I actually didn't know you could walk up on the pipes here. Oh, that makes my job a whole lot easier. I'm gonna take these sneakers off then. Or take the shoes off and uh, put the sneakers on. Take care of that brain. Uh, I think we want to go up here, not down. Deal with you later. Oop, got a red apple. That is basically a full heal. I will gladly take that. And I think the only reason they put a red apple right here is because we are coming up on the final boss of the game. Yep. Uh, here we have a very big and very graphically detailed uh, human heart. Yeah, I think the only way to hurt this thing is to embalm it as well. Yeah, the Gamma Gun doesn't really do anything with it, you just need to be very careful with your embalming fluid and take care of this heart. Just gotta eat this thing. It's a bit of erratic in terms of its, like, movement, but it's honestly, like, one of the most harmless enemies in the entire game. In fact, it's actually kind of afraid of me right now with the fact that I, it knows what I'm trying to do. Actually playing a little smart and uh, trying to get out of my reach. Alright, head through the door, and it's time for the final boss of the game! Uh, so a fun fact about this boss... Uh, what you were going to want to do first and foremost is we're going to get our spring shoes on our sickle. Uh, the boss wasn't supposed to be uh, a, the heart with uh, an eyeball creature on top. Originally, the boss was supposed to be like a culmin- Oh god, oh god. Wow, okay. I see how it is. Uh, the boss was originally supposed to be a culmination of, of like all the body part uh, that we've been fighting. So the heart, the skull, the spine, the, like, the, uh, the brain. All that stuff, that was supposed to be what, what the original final boss of this game was going to be. And I can't really do anything about him, so we're just going to get hunkered down here with the sickle real quick. Wait for him to get a little close. And just need one good stab to the heart. Instead, he shot me in the face. Yeah, he gets really desperate at the end. I think maybe the suction shoes might give us a little bit... No, we need the spring shoes. There we go. 
I put his spring shoes on, and I'm basically just gonna keep putting them on and off, that way we can keep tricking him to get close. There we go. Boss defeated. Now, warning! If you suffer from epilepsy and do not like a lot of flashing things, uh, you best turn your uh, view right now, because after you rescue Polly, uh, the game's about ready to have a seizure. There we go. Embalmer prison. Free her, and... After the score stops going up, and she stops raising the roof. It's coming. Oh, God, my eyes! Ah. That's the truly scary thing about this game. Not the monsters, not the fact that you can get lost easily. It's the very end with the epilepsy attack. Ah. Uh. We rescued Cool School. We got rid of all the ghouls. But in the end, Spike did not get the girl. Just saying, like, uh, uh, okay, so uh, what do we do now? Uh, do, do, do we just... just... just do nothing? Uh, uh, okay. But yeah, that was Ghoul School, folks. Uh, pretty fun, uh, a bit confusing and a bit dangerous at the very end. But all in all, it, it it's another one of my favorite NES games just next to uh, Monster Party. And the fact that I really do like these like really weird and obscure games that I, I usually come across. For the most part, they're bad. They're, they're not good. Sometimes one might say they're shovelware uh, and just like trying to cash in on something. But honestly, this is one of the more fun obscure Metroidvanias. It was actually a very popular game to the fact that, uh, uh, well, it, much underground love game that it spawned a pseudo remake. Yeah, not kidding. Uh, Ghoul School 3D was supposed to be a remake to this game, uh, which is basically a Doom clone, but it's uh, actually a pretty fun Doom clone, I have to say. Anyways, folks, that's gonna do it. Thank you all for joining me on this ghoulish adventure. I'm TBG. I will see you uh, next time. And, uh, yeah, take care, folks.